Hey, Dr. Shook here. I've had a lot of my patients recently ask me how I stay so skinny. Um, that's what they call me, and that's okay. Um, I prefer to call it fit, but what I'd like to do is just uh, give you guys a preview of what's in my shopping cart. So I'm at the grocery store this morning, and I'm picking up a few of the um, items that we usually eat in our house. And so what I'm going to do is just turn the camera so you can see. So here um, we've got organic chicken. Uh, we, we get the uh, organic chicken, typically Coleman. We just want to make sure that there's no, no hormones, no pesticides, anything like that, um, no antibiotics. Um, on, on our food, obviously our, we get lettuce, organic lettuce, cabbage, cauliflower. Um, I've got some melons and then frozen organic green beans, Brussels sprouts. We try to buy as much organic food as we can, but that's not always possible. Um, we usually have lots of olive oil. Now, I do know, I know that I have certain sensitivities, but we've done testing, and the, with the testing that we've done, I know that I can have, and that most of my family, we can have um, dairy. So we don't eat, we eat a, um, a version of paleo, but dairy's not paleo, but, but it's more of the primal diet. But I know I don't have a sensitivity to dairy, so we do consume it in, in moderation, but it's always organic whole fat, um, you know, none of the um, skim milks or anything like that. We, we like the fat that's in the, in the, um, in our, in our food. We like to have lots of good, healthy, um, saturated fats. We just try to stay away from um, the trans fats and um, that, that come with high temperature cooking and then a lot of the processing. So there's some other things. My son, he eats veggie burgers and uh, gluten-free, soy-free. Um, vegan, he eats some of those, and those are okay. But we have several things. I just want to kind of share. You know, in addition to this stuff, uh, you know, a lot of people tell us well, that's not very much. We eat, we will eat carrots, and we eat a lot of sweet potatoes and yams. Uh, we consume quite a bit of uh, kale and leafy greens. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. And a lot of people, you know, they, they look at this and they say, well, that seems so restrictive. And I just, I just tell my patients, you know, think of, think of it this way. Um, eat this way for 30 days and see how you feel. And if you don't feel better, then, you, you know, uh, let me know because you'd be the first person that I've met that doesn't feel better after eating. Um, and there's more that you can eat than this, uh, fruits, stone fruits, and a lot of other fruits and vegetables that you can consume, but none of the processed garbage that we typically consume in our daily diets, and definitely no fast food. So you try this for 30 days, see how you feel, and then um, let, let me know, just touch base with me. But you can also use this as an elimination diet. So if there are things that you wanna add back in, you can add them back in every uh, three days. Um, once, you, once you've gone 30 days, you can start adding one food that you would like to start consuming again back into your diet and see how you feel. And there's a very specific way you wanna do that. You wanna eat that food alone and you don't wanna have anything an hour before or after because you want to see how you feel and how your body responds. So anyway, uh, Dr. Shook here, I just wanna share with you kind of my diet and uh, show you guys how I do things and how we do things in my household. Hope it's been informative. If you have any questions, let me know.